Hey guys, just before we continue with uh, the Adobe XD um, tools course, um, I just wanted to make uh, a parenthesis uh, regarding the low fidelity and uh, high fidelity uh, mockups. So basically at the start of the project, uh, uh, when I'm working with clients, uh, I always aim to create uh, a wireframe, uh, which is uh, low fidelity. So this is similar to the ones that you see over here. And uh, basically what it is, uh, it's uh, just uh, a focus on uh, the UX part of things uh, and uh, really checking that uh, all the elements uh, are uh, properly placed uh, and uh, that the uh, final goal of the project is achieved in uh, its uh, roughest form. And uh, once you, you have the client approval, and uh, you know that uh, everything is um, uh, up, like really good to go, uh, you can then move on to the high fidelity part, which is uh, actually making the uh, design, the fonts and uh, the colors all work together. Now, in this case, uh, I have uh, a low fidelity, which uh, is quite, uh, um, uh, which is very similar to the high fidelity, but this can be even uh, in a more rough form, uh, such as uh, sketches. Um, I personally always start a project by doing uh, wireframe sketches uh, just with pen and paper and um, or pencil and paper. And uh, this is uh, something that uh, I really encourage you to do because uh, it really makes you think uh, in a different way instead of just starting right from uh, right from the software and the computer. And um, I just uh, Googled the uh, wireframe sketches so that uh, you can see like uh, an idea of uh, uh, what I mean. And um, yeah, I mean, these uh, can be very, very useful. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, as uh, I know that the design part and the visual part, it's uh, something that attracts uh, a lot of you guys. Um, the main goal is to create uh, an experience which uh, fulfills the goal of the project. So that should always be the main goal. And um, yeah, now we can uh, continue with the course and uh, we'll jump uh, right into the tools of uh, Adobe XD.